What a difference a night makes, CK. Because after a bum night at Madison Square Garden, we would quickly turn our attention to November 27th. We had circled that date on the calendar. Because the Knicks went into Atlanta facing a red hot Hawks team, winners of seven in a row. Short handed. Head coach Tom Thibodeau wanted intensity. He wanted us to return back to our ways of defense and physicality. Knicks smoking on that Hawks pack tonight. 99 to 90. Second night of a back-to-back. -back. Tibbs wanted intensity. Tibbs wanted energy. And he got that. A lot of places we could go tonight, bro. I literally felt Oof. like all nine players who played tonight contributed to this win in a major way at different points in the game. But let's start with the youth movement. With no Nerlens, no Rose, no Taj, no Kemba tonight on rest. We got just that. Shout mm -hmm. out to Jericho Sims, Quentin Grimes, bringing that defensive intensity from start to finish. The second unit came in and flipped this game. As they usually do, but now this was this was a difference five. So shout out to Sims for holding down the perimeter. Shout out to Grimes <laughs> for, for holding down the paint. Shout out to Grimes holding down the perimeter. Intense defense. Emmanuel quickly, who I want to talk about at length. Playmaking in the point guard role. Understanding. Re remember, we we knew that there was gonna be an opportunity for quickly to really assert himself as a point guard because there was gonna be a night when both Rose and Kemba was gonna be out. Tonight mm -hmm. was the night, and quickly again playing so well on both ends of the floor was great tonight. Obi mm -hmm. bringing that energy, the, the one handed slam, sat at Quentin Grimes. Obi leading the way in transition again. Absolutely solid, man. From Sims, Toppin, uh, quickly, and Q Grimes. And then that person we're leaving off, you put him on there. That's a plus 56. We'll talk yeah. about him in a second. But that's huge production. And, I, yeah, like, like you said, we got to talk about quick because uh, you, you're going to look on the stats. You see only a 9.7 assists. Look, the man was on, was on a mission. He was proving that point that he can play this role. This is what he has wanted to show us. This is what he said that he has been working on all offseason. We saw it in that summer league run with those same guys, with yeah. the, the Obi Toppin, Jericho Sims, Gronk. Those mm -hmm. are the guys he was doing it with in the summer league, brought that over to the main league, and, and, and it, it looked – like he like the work was always paying off. We knew tonight was going to happen where he was going to get that opportunity, and he did a lot with it in 31 minutes. So, yeah, quickly, there's a lot of conversation there. My man Grimes, defensively, Grimes. the man is a blanket. The man is a blanket. And Pop Lippin trying to tell you the instincts for this kid Animal, is bro. ridiculous. Lou Williams, have a seat. I love it. Quentin I love Grimes it. All, over the, all over the court tonight. Because if he's able to do this, against big-time players, one of their best scorers and one of the OG scorers in the league for a yeah. long time in Lou Will, then that's something that you got to look at. And, I, you know, of that bench unit that we were talking about, Obi Toppin is Obi Toppin. My man played a, a great tonight. Surprised he still only got 16 minutes, even yeah. with injuries and everything. Mm -hmm. But he was a, a, a extraordinary, high scorer of everybody on the bench. Shout out to Obi Toppin. But I got to give some attention to Jericho Sims because a lot of us, we said it yesterday, you know, he, it feels like in these games when he gets the opportunity – it just feels like, you know, you could see the green. Today, from the minute he checked in, the way he Impact. was boxing out Clint Capello. The, I mean, he still had to, I, mind you, Clint Capello had his, yeah, got his rebound. He know he's that. still ate. But to slow him down, the way he was boxing out, understood the assignment, kept him out of, off the boards, which led to, um, you know, Obi with the rebound and pushing, which led to RJ with the rebound and pushing, which led to yeah. the fast breaks. Jericho Sims, he, he showed up today, two for two, um, highest plus or second highest plus minus on the, on the squad, plus 14, definitely warranted, um, 21 minutes. You know, uh, Tom Thibodeau has said that he's believed in this kid from the jump. Um, he showed that tonight. And, yeah, I, I, beautiful play from all the young guys. And I think Wiley on the telecast mentioned the word poise, or it was Han, I think, just mentioned the word poise during the stretch of game so quickly. And you could just see it. Things are slowing mm -hmm. down for him. He's really setting a nice pace. He's pushing the pace. Obviously, when him and Obi are out there, you know the chemistry's there between those guys. They worked hand-in-hand -hand together um, during the offseason. And I thought his defense, especially in the fourth quarter, bro, he spent time guarding Trey Young. 
who scored, who didn't score in the fourth quarter. Yeah. And Lou Williams. Quickly's defense is starting to catch up. And this is why he's, in particular, I think, is going to come into the conversation of potentially starting at the point at some point. And then um, RJ, mm. topic of conversation last night. Mm. Topic of the trade, rumors Topic last of trade night. him, this, that, and the third. <laughs> Now, sh- got to make your free throws, all right? We'll, we'll knock the negative sure. out there. For sure. Plus 18 on the night, 15 points, seven boards, six of 11 from the field. And what I liked about RJ is that he only took three threes, didn't settle at the line. He was attacking, bro. He was attacking. And, and what we've been saying, you know, what a lot of people have been saying over the past few weeks is, he runs much better with the second unit because they push the pace. Push the pace. That's how he wants to play. RJ's game is transition. That's part, you All know, right. and it's not to absolve him from his deficiencies overall right. as, a, as a player. Right. But it's just to say that when he's running with the starters, they just run at a, such a much slower pace. That's not his game. But was seeing RJ Barrett play more with that second unit to see his game open up. And everything you just mentioned was the reason why we all need to see it. We all want to see it because, you know, the way that he plays in that that fast pace, whether he has the ball, or he doesn't have the ball, opens up the floor and opens up the game for not just himself, but for so many other players on that that were on the floor tonight. Mayo quickly was was given so many other open opportunities because RJ Barrett was still on the floor, That's and right. the way that he is able to drive, get the attention, and like you mentioned. Um, push that ball out to for an open shot from quickly. And in other instances, the way that he's able to draw the attention, slip the ball over to whether it's Mitchell Robinson or, or Jericho Sims that are right there for an easy dunk or an easy put up. Like those are the kind of things that you don't get to see him run with that starting unit because, you know, A, fill in the blank is dribbling the air out of the ball yeah. and eventually the ball gets them in the corner. Or B, they just aren't, you know, running, they aren't pushing the pace. Uh, My guy who played point guard tonight is the first <laughs> hive. In the chat, I got something to say tonight. Look, man, um, versatile player, emergency point guard situation. I knew Tibbs was going to start him tonight. You know Tibbs, leaning veteran, was going to start him tonight. And first quarter, you know, he's all over the stat sheet, bro. Has a couple nice passes, finishes with three dimes, two steals. He's getting on the rebounds. Again, good rebounding guard. Seven rebounds for Burks tonight. Five of seven from the strike. But in the third quarter, when things got interesting, missed the fourth quarter. So, you know what? I got to go. I got to get activated right now, CK. (laughs) You know what I mean? I can't wait till the fourth quarter. We got to get activated right now. My guy, Alec Burks, with 15 third quarter points, four three pointers. Let's get it going. And yeah, listen, uh, you know, he had some, some turnovers here and there. He's not a true point guard. But I thought overall, Burks trying to be a playmaker and really battling on the boards, those two things was really the things that that stuck out to me. Because I I knew, you know, when he gets it going, he can be a microwave. So I wasn't surprised at at the 15-point outburst. But I I was – and his defense. Mm -hmm. Burks' defense was was on point tonight. So, hey, give it up to my guy Alec Burks, man. 23 points, seven boards, three dimes of the night. Burks, solid. Solid in leading this team to victory. I mean, I thought Fournier was terrific tonight. I don't think he gets enough credit. I mean, keep in mind, he's been a big part of our last two wins against the Lakers and tonight against the Hawks. Um, like you said, when uh, it looked like the Hawks might be pulling away, pulling away with the game in the early third quarter when Trey started getting going, um, he hit that big three at the top of the key, and he had another nice drive to the basket. Yeah. I mean – he, he had a, It seemed like he had a quiet game, but he actually hit some huge baskets. He had a, a big three again in the fourth to give us some more separation. Obviously, uh, it was great to see the kids get out and run. Um, I really like Grimes' game, even though uh, you know the stats really aren't there. Just the way he's playing out there, his savvy, his uh, he doesn't look like he's scared in the moment. I think, I think Sims needs more time. Mm-hmm. I think Alec Berg is our, is our most reliable player. Let's do it. And, again, I think uh, p- people need to lay off Fournier. I mean, he's yeah. been a little bit inconsistent so far, but he's much – Reggie Bullock – take a look at Reggie Bullock's numbers. He's been awful this year. Mm-hmm. How would you feel if you were committed another three years to that guy 
who can only do one thing, and that's catch and shoot the ball as much as he was for us. So Evan Fournier, much more skilled. There's much more potential there. He's had two of his, two of his last three games have been huge for us, and they've been responsible for us winning. Because all five Knicks players on the court were drafted by the New York Knicks. Woo! Now, plus eight box minus, uh, plus minus, mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Four out of five shots all in the paint compared to the uh, Hawks. One, eight, uh, one out of eight during that stretch when they were on the court from the yeah. three-point line. Running the, like, they were running down the court. If you saw the camera, that was the first time I've ever seen the court look blurred because they were running down the <laughs> yeah, court. Yeah, they were getting out. Yeah. Burke's start was crucial. A lot of people were saying, why didn't quickly start? Because he was doing some point guard stuff. Yo, Burks was able to play off ball more, and he's able to allow Randall to do his thing and get going and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it, the responsibilities were given back to Randall to play, make, and do whatever he needs to do, and that helped uh, orchestrate the offense a lot better. Also, Burke's height, defense, beautiful. Um, a lot of people were concerned about trying to contain Trey Young. Defense is not only about containing one player. It's about containing the entire team. Yeah. He did a great job destroying destroying plays. Yes. He Trey broke Young up a lot had of 33. Plays. The next player upset. I think the next player up next on the point score was about 12 points. And I right. think that I don't even know who that was. I think that was John Collins. Yeah. But who cares? Collins now, and Herder were quiet tonight. Obviously, Bogdanovich went down with the injury. But um, like you said, I thought Burks was, was all over the court tonight and did a good job breaking up a lot of plays. I called to talk about these young players and, and that five-man rotation of IQ, Grimes, uh, what was it, OB, mm -hmm. Sims, and uh, there was a fifth, uh, RJ. RJ. Man, if, if that lineup didn't make the Knicks fan base uh, Christmas wish list, like, like, you don't even ask them for that because it's not even going to happen. You know what I mean? It's just unbelievable uh, a moment in, in time for us fans to, to see those five guys on the floor together. And, you know, when me and CK watched Grimes uh, in action in, in, in Vegas, and there's a lot of people who are saying, you know, overreaction to Vegas, overreaction to Vegas, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't, Summer League doesn't matter. It, it matters. When 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 IQ and OB are standing there as as veterans with with Grimes and and Sims and Deuce, it matters that they're they're looked at to to lead because there's been times where IQ and OB have been asked to be floor generals and leaders for us. Um, specifically, IQ it matters when when Tibbs is grooming him to be the next point guard you know, uh, on this team with two aging uh, bodies at, at point guard with Rose and Kemba. It matters. It matters when when Grimes is out there um, um, struggling from three and still playing defense. And, 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 and the guy has special ability on defense. I mean, we're talking about this first unit, and, um, man, we got to inject some youth in that first unit. We got to inject some athleticism. We got to inject some back and forth uh, pace play. RJ plays so much better with the second unit. It's been said a million times. I don't know why it's, uh, why he's not getting some more burn with them. Um, that first, the first unit backcourt is way too slow. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, Grimes is, you know, he's our best backcourt defender. Um, in terms of athleticism and the ability to stick them on the team's play, I think mm -hmm. since Shumpert, I, 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 don't, I don't know who else we've had mm -hmm. that's that good. And, and, and Grimes is that good. And I don't understand when when Rose and, and Kemba come back, this guy's not going to play. And it's right. just unfair because he, he just adds an element of defense. You know, it's a two-way game. And, and he, how do we win tonight's game on defense? I know he wasn't in there, but IQ – could guard Trey because he plays at his age. He plays at his game. He plays at that level of basketball. Let me let me let me tell y'all what's good, what's going on, man. This the game that we needed. This the game that we wanted. We was eliminated by these people. So our whole off season, we go ahead and put the put put together our team and been prepped up and waiting on this team right here. This the team, this the game right here tonight that's going to turn our whole season around. I'm telling you, we was waiting for this game right here and we won't even at full, we won't even at full body count, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But shout out to Mr. Wilson. He was up there talking about how them guys are sliding their feet. Let me tell you, you can hear them guys talking and screaming and hollering at one another, playing, playing for one another, <laughs> mm -hmm. talking about grind, talking about quickly, talking about Obi, talking about Sim. 
You can hear them getting at one another about telling them what they need to do on the court and how how they need to handle their business. And when they took Obi out that game right before the half in it, um, and put Julius in there when we was on that run. Everybody on the side was cheering up Obi like it's okay, it's okay, because they knew that sub was not supposed to have come, man. But I'm so happy. I feel so great tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a big time win, you know what I'm saying? And just to be in that building and turning up, you know what I'm saying? Hollering and screaming at the players right there on the bench with them, getting at their faces and handling their business. Go, we got one for the home team. Bring your dustpans to the garden on Let's the 25th, go. man.